How's it going everyone and welcome. This this is a video we are going to talk about the most dastardly, the most evil combo I could possibly think of in Flesh and Blood and it all centers around dunking a cracked bobble into your opponent's arsenal. It is the most evil thing you can do and it is absolutely delicious so stay tuned for that we're about to go down a rabbit hole and it gets a little crazy if you like what i do here if you like the flesh and blood content please like the video subscribe and maybe you know join channel memberships we're going to be getting some new flesh and blood emotes that are going to be really really cool and uh there's a bunch of other stuff too like merch store down below and the discord and good stuff so lots of ways to support and join the community if you like it so let's get on with today's video. I want to do a little bit of backstory as I pull up the first thing that we're going to talk about, which is this. This all centers around Codex of Inertia, and it centers around putting the top card of your opponent's deck into their arsenal, and we're going to make sure that it is not a good card and that they're going to be stuck with it permanently. Well, sort of. We'll, we'll talk about that. And so I had this idea on the Living Legends podcast about somehow getting a cracked bobble on top of your opponent's deck and then playing Codex of Inertia to force it into their arsenal so they're stuck with a cracked bobble for the rest of the game. And this is this is a tactic that will basically lose you friends. Um, oh, but it is so it is so good. It, it, it is so good. And I spoke recently um, with a good friend of the channel. I'm going to shout out DM Armada here. And he and I kind of just kind of ran with it and talked about a bunch of stuff. And uh, he was as stoked as I am about this. So, this centers around Codex of Inertia, but it also uh, centers around this card, the shitty Christmas present. Now, first of all, you were at the point where, where you're like, okay, this doesn't work in like real flesh and blood. And that's sort of true. This only works currently in Ultimate Pit Fight. But if any card is ever printed that functions similar to shitty Christmas present, then this combo will work for Blitz and Classic Constructed. Currently, it only works for Ultimate Pit Fight. In fact, it's it's extra hilarious in Ultimate Pit Fight. So, what this card does is it says, put a cracked bobble from outside the game on top of target of a uh, hero's deck. So, you get to put one of these lovely cracked bobbles on top of someone's deck. And as you can see, a cracked bobble doesn't do anything. It's just a resource. You just pitch it for two resources. And so, if we can somehow put the cracked bobble with shitty Christmas present on top of someone's deck and then play Codex of Inertia, forcing them to take the top card of their deck and putting it into their arsenal, then they are going to get stuck with a cracked bobble in their arsenal. Now, there are a couple of tricks and hangups here. First of all, this only works if you're playing Assassin or Ranger currently because of Codex of Inertia, right? And then Codex of Inertia itself has some tricks to get around, right? It creates an inertia token. And we'll talk about that in just a second, how to get around that. And then also we need to have go again on our shitty Christmas present, or at least an action point, so we can follow it up with Codex of Inertia in the same turn. So here is the combo. You play shitty Christmas present, either with Mage Master Boots uh, to give it go again. You know, you can destroy the Mage Master Boots to give uh, the shitty Christmas present go again. Or if you're playing specifically Lexi, you can play Blink to gain an action point, or you can play Time Snap Potion to gain two action points to do this. So you have a, a couple different ways to get go again on your shitty Christmas present. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. Especially the Mage Master Boots, which is just on board. You just have it on board. You don't need to draw into it like these other cards. So let's say Mage Master Boots and then shitty Christmas present. That's a one card combo because you start with the Mage Master Boots and then you need the Codex of Inertia, two card combo, right? That's not entirely true because, like I said, we run into a very significant problem with the Codex of Inertia. You also give each person that does this, that puts a top card of their deck in the arsenal, an Inertia token, or rather each opponent that does this. And so an Inertia token says, at the beginning of your end phase, destroy Inertia, then put all cards from your hand and arsenal on the bottom of your deck. So this is the, this is the thing that really got me stuck for a minute. I was like, okay, wait, so you put the crack bobble into their arsenal, but then the codex or then the inertia pops and then it, you know, tucks it away. So if only we could make it so they either don't get a codex of inertia or they don't get an inertia token, or that we can get rid of the inertia token, then this really pops off. And it turns out 
we can. Let me introduce you to the Imperial Warhorn. So this is a two cost generic uh, action item. It is legendary, so you can only have one of them in your deck, so it's a little, a little finicky. Action for a resource, destroy the Imperial Warhorn, choose any number of heroes, each of them chooses an ally, aura, item, or landmark permanent they control. Destroy each permanent chosen this way. If you are royal, instead you choose the permanents. Now, the inertia is an aura. So, this does work. So if we have the Imperial Warhorn, once again, this is, is a little fiddly. If we have the Imperial Warhorn in play, when we when we play our um, shitty Christmas present, and then, uh, you know, we have to give it go again with like something like Mage Master Boots, and then we have to play the Codex of Inertia, which itself has go again, we then activate the Imperial Warhorn to then destroy the Inertia, and now they are stuck permanently with a crack bobble in their arsenal. More or less permanently. There's some there's some ways to get around it, like Riptide's uh, Quiver and that kind of stuff. Um, a couple other really fun things to note is that you could be like, oh no, what if they have an ally or a landmark or something else in play or an item so they can choose that instead of the Inertia? Well, if you're a royal, then you get a pick. So you want to run the Crown of Dominion to be royal. Yes. <laughs> so, so we're setting this up here. We're setting this up here to be the, the most evil possible. Now, there's a couple other ways you can do this, too. Um, in fact, let me pull up the Outsiders page because there's another codex that this kind of works with. It requires a lot more setup, um, and that is the Codex of Blood Rot here. So this is the Codex of Blood Rot, and the Codex of Blood Rot says each hero puts a card from their hand face down into their arsenal. So if we can somehow put the Crack Bobble into their hand, then we can force them to put it down uh, into their arsenal with Codex of Blood Rat. So this one's a little bit more fiddly. This is open your mind, open your mind to the possibilities here. So we do everything that we said up until the inertia, right? We put the Crack Bobble on top of their deck, right? Now, what do we do from there? Well, we can force them to draw it with a card like Coax of Commotion, where it says if it hits, choose any number. One of these is each hero draws a card. So we could force them to draw the Crack Bobble, right? Um, we could also use other effects like Promise of Plenty, which says if it hits each hero who doesn't have a card in their arsenal, puts the top card of their deck face down into their arsenal. So this is another thing that we're going to talk about in just a second. So we're going to put the Promise of Plenty on pause. Pro I shouldn't have gone there yet. Promise, promise of Plenty on pause, coax of commotion. Okay, so they draw the Crack Bobble. Now, since this is Ultimate Pit Fight, you have other players next to everyone, right? And so you can conspire with your fellow players to all gang off on the person you want to bobble. You want to bobble dunk them, and then you make them block with their whole hand, and then you do the thing where you put the crack bobble on top of their deck, attack a different player with coax of commotion. You know, you're conspiring here. You're evil. You're an evil piece of trash. Uh, and then you choose everyone draws a card, and then they draw the only card in their hand, crack bobble, and then that's where you play the uh, codex of blood rot, and they have to put the crack bobble down into their arsenal. So that's another way you can do this. By the way, this deck, you do all these things. You run all these in the deck. So you have redundancy, right? You run, you run them all in the deck. And then the other thing is the Promise of Plenty. Like I said, if it hits each hero who doesn't have a card in their arsenal, puts a top card of their deck face down into the arsenal. So what you do with this one is, and you don't even have to be an assassin or ranger for this, you just have to play Shitty Christmas Present with Go Again. Uh, you know, like I said, with Blink, Time Snap Potion, Mage Master Boots, put that Crack Bobble on top of someone's deck, and then you attack a different player with Promise of Plenty, and then, you know, conspiring, because you're evil, and then um, make it so it hits, and then they have to, the, the person with the Bobble gets that dunked into their arsenal, because each hero puts the top card of their deck into their arsenal. Yes, this is the deck. This is the evilness. It is so much fun. And if LSS ever prints a card that's not shitty Christmas present, that does something like this by putting something on top of your opponent's deck. Oh, oh, this, that's where this is going to pop off. But for now, you can be an absolute heel and put Crack Bobble into your, um, into, your, into your best friend's arsenal. Where's the Crack Bobble? Here it is. You can put that into your best friend's arsenal, and then it is stuck there. It is absolutely stuck there. Now, you have to be careful about who you bobble dunk. We're calling this bobble dunk, by the way. We are coining this. This is bobble dunking. Um, you got to be careful who you bobble dunk, because you can't bobble dunk a ranger 
with New Horizon because they can block with the New Horizon and then it destroys all the cards in their arsenal. So you have to be careful with that. Uh, same with Riptide with his Trench or with his Quiver. You got to be careful with that. Um, but for most classes, yeah, it's going to be stuck. It's going to be stuck there. Uh, same with Azalea. You can't, you can't Azalea because they can, they can blind Azalea this. Uh, they can, you know, use Azalea's hero ability to put this on the bottom of their deck. Um, but for a lot of classes, <laughs> you're just going to get them. Oh, I love it. I love it so, so much. Please let me know if you like this kind of video and uh, maybe I will do more. This was a lot of fun. This is something, like I said, that we brought up on the Living Legends podcast, and I just kind of ran with it. And I had started to record this video, and then I came to the snag where I was like, oh no, the inertia token absolutely goozles you, right? It makes it so it gets rid of the card in their arsenal. But then you're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There are ways to get rid of the inertia token with the Imperial Warhorn. Oh, it's so good. And you can guarantee it with the Crown and Dominion, or you have other lines of play with Promise of Plenty. Or even this weird fiddly Coax of Commotion, Codex of Blood Rot kind of play where you, you force them to draw it and then put it in their, their arsenal. Oh, it's so good. So let me know what you think of this terrible, terrible combo in the comments down below. Terrible in more ways than one. It probably won't win you any games, but it will lose you some friends. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.